Hey Virgo, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back, and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, and everything that you share with me in the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave those messages for somebody else. Or you can always come back and watch a message later. So, <clears throat> there's something here about ascending in your current situation. There could be some kind of level up or a promotion. There could be something going on where uh, maybe previously you were in a situation where you were isolating or keeping to yourself. And there's some kind of change here. Um, let's see the future energies. This says keeping a promise. So show me the reason. <clears throat> There's something about um, something that's been forgotten or something about the past and police. There's something about policing and energy. <clears throat> and then in the potential, it says, don't want to hear it. So let's see. At a glance, this looks like um, for a little while, you might have been very to yourself, and now there's some kind of um, change. There could be, <laughs> that's funny, and then your card has come out, the hermit. So you could have been in hermit energy. There's something about keeping to yourself or being very isolated or being introspective. And there's a change up here. You could be receiving a promotion or some kind of level up at work. There could be somebody that... Um, there's something about your intelligence or your intellect. There's something about maturity and the way you see things. <clears throat> Show me the future. So in the future energies, there could be a partnership that's coming towards you. This could be somebody who is a soulmate. Um, this could be someone that is... Um, offering you love. There's something though about either you or this person, you're ignoring your intuition um, whenever it comes to them. This could be somebody that you've already um, missed some kind of opportunity with or there's been disappointment with this person previously in the past. This could be an old friend or this could be somebody that you have children with. This could be somebody in a friend group. This could be someone that feels like they missed an opportunity with you. Hmm. They could be seeing you differently. They could be viewing you like you have grown or you've matured or this is how they are feeling. This is giving me energy of somebody coming back around and um, they are a different person. They have evolved or they see that you have evolved. So in the potential energy, there's something about proof of boundaries and moving on from this. So for you, you could be at a place where somebody's coming towards you and you may not want to be with this person. Although the way that these cards are coming out, this could be somebody that you loved very deeply or that you had strong emotions for. And if this person has grown or changed it's, that's what I'm saying is that you don't want to hear that that whoever this is it's like this is somebody who could have um this person could have hurt you or this could this could be the reason this person could be the reason that you police your energy or you have very strong boundaries it's like somebody that you've known for a very long time or there's something about this person's energy that it, I'm getting, it's like it almost makes you uncomfortable. Let me see what is this. Because there's some, um, there's a lot of chemistry here between you and whoever this is. 
And so there's a potential for a new beginning, but the other way that this goes is you, you're, it's like you're taking stock of whatever has happened in the past and what you know now. So for some of you, I'm seeing that you reconnect with someone, even though your intuition is telling you not to. And for others of you, I'm seeing you put up boundaries and move on. But whoever this is that's coming towards you, they see that you have evolved or that you've made some kind of progress in something. This person sees you like you are um, very mature. There's something about subtlety here also. But the reason for this has something to do with emotional fulfillment and partnership where there's been a missed opportunity previously. For other, If this is somebody new, um, I'm seeing somebody coming towards you and they have very strong feelings and this person feels like they need to, to take some kind of action because they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. If this is a past person, I'm seeing somebody coming towards you and this person sees you like you have evolved or like you are very intelligent. Um, I'm seeing somebody who thinks you're intelligent and attractive. Anything else? This could be somebody who's very stable. They could be stable financially. They could be stable um, in their emotions. Or this person was very comfortable being by themselves. Um, they may have built up some wealth or there's something here about something material. And it's like this person is ready for a change or you are ready for a change. You may be meeting this person at the, the correct time. For some of you, it's like... There's something about you <clears throat> just jumping in, um, and this could be something that your intuition, it, you feel like it's telling you not to do. The Emperor is here, um, along with the Six of Wands. So whatever this is, this looks like it has the potential to be successful. Um, for some of you, this is somebody that you already have children with that's coming back around. For others, others of you, there's something about um, this person being in a leadership position or somebody, this is somebody who will protect you. This is somebody who, I just heard, at all costs. Yeah, and that's a message. There's some kind of an epiphany or communication that's coming in around this person. Uh, judgment is at, at the bottom of the deck, so. You're being told to use good judgment, pay attention to whatever it is that, um, whatever truth you know to be here, there's something about looking at that truth. What is the advice? Be patient. There's something about divine timing and justice. There's some kind of balance that's coming in. You could be somebody that, um, a lot of you I'm saying that this is an ex. Show me the person here first. What I'm seeing for a lot of you is there's somebody coming towards you that feels like they are not able to find your energy and other people, or there's somebody who it's like they've seen that you have grown or matured or evolved in some way, and they may be coming towards you because they feel like they missed an opportunity with you in the past. This is somebody who could have put you in competition with other people, or they're having some kind of inner conflict about the way that things were between you and them. And they're wanting to come in to have some kind of emotional conversation with you for a union. And in the future energies, I am seeing the potential here. 
for um, a connection. But for a lot of you, you may not want whatever this is. So something be is being balanced. Um, you're being told to use your judgment whenever it comes to uh, the things in life that you don't want to regret. And um, be sure that you're being balanced in your commun communication whenever it comes to what your truth is. So that's the message. I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.